y'all, what's up, what's up? What's going on? Man, this is Jared Cheek. Um, coming at y'all with a late last week video. Um, but I want to tell y'all something. Got something on my heart. Hold on, let me roll up this window. I got something on my heart. All right. And, and detailers out there, listen. I mean this from the bottom. And I know some people do this. And some people teach this. But I say no. Let me tell you something I learned. I'm not even gonna hold you. First and foremost, my name is Jaren Cheek, owner CEO of Peppermint Locust Detail, okay? I'm trying to make this thing go crazy. Not even trying, gonna make this thing go crazy like never before. A detail in business that's done nothing like it. You understand me? Follow me, Peppermint Locust Detail, all social media platforms, you can find me. I don't, I don't tweet, I'm not a Twitterer. But look, I'm not even gonna hold you. Do not, do not, and I mean, do not, do not, do not, do not work for tips. 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 I'm gonna tell you why. Here's what happens. If you get into the idea of working for tips, not, it's nine times out of ten, those tips don't come. Okay, and you'll be sitting there with your hand out, and your customer will be sitting there with their hand out asking for their keys. Don't be that person. Listen to me. I used to be that person asking for tips, you know, like trying to make, trying to see, oh, this for No, you never know if somebody is going to tip you. You never know if somebody's gonna tip you. Do not work for tips. You just make sure that you put your best foot forward every single time. And, you, and, you, and the car is gonna take care, care of itself. Let me tell you another reason not to work for tips. Listen to me, y'all, listen to me. If you price your stuff accordingly, you wouldn't, you wouldn't even have to worry about a tip. As a matter of fact, you'd be telling your customers, don't worry about the tip. Don't, don't worry about it, it's okay. You pay more than enough. That's how you know your high value clients. They're gonna be like, oh no, it's okay. I'm, I'm completely, I already budgeted this out. Those are your high dollar clients. Listen to me, do not work for tips. Put your best foot forward. Make sure that your craft is above anything else, okay? No matter what, and you and you may find yourself getting tips. Matter of fact, you may find yourself getting more than you thought. You may find yourself instead of getting um, five percent, two percent tips, maybe get fifty percent tips. You may you may end up getting somebody who you may charge just just this an example. You may charge two hundred dollars or something, whatever you charge, two fifty, three fifty for a full detail, and that customer may pay you half. Half. It happens, and I do it, okay? And, and here's another thing, too. Don't sit here and talk about being uh, getting tipped. If you're not a person, that's not, that's, a, that's not a tipper. That's a whole nother story. But if you're not out here taking care of these people, when you go out to those those restaurants, those lunches, when you go out to these play, play, places and you're not tipping these people, don't be surprised if you don't get that back. I'm a firm believer in karma, okay? Good, bad, and indifferent, doesn't matter. If you ain't tipping at these places, do not expect to get tipped. But for real, do not lean on on tips. Charge accordingly to where, if anything, you feel probably a little bit bad about charging that much. But it's so amazing because the customer, how you know that they really appreciate you is when you charge them a lot and they tip you anyways. You charge, or not a lot, you charge accordingly and they tip you anyways, okay? This is an emergency. <laughs> uh, I just need, really need to put this out there. Uh, just make sure, and it's not because it's, you know, like I said, I used to have this mentality, but the thing is, like, I'm like, nah, I'm good. And I've kind of found out, like, people tip me all the time. This is Jared Cheek, Pep and Local Detail. Man, I care about y'all. I want to see y'all succeed. I want to see you become the best person that you could possibly be. All right? Y'all have a wonderful and blessed day. Uh, this is uh, coming to another podcast. My name is Jared Cheek. Again, I'll post, try to post one video. Look, one video a week, y'all. That's all I can do. That's all I can do. I got a newborn. I got a family. That's all I can do. Okay? But I'll do the best that I can. Locate me on all social media platforms. All right? Other than that, have a wonderful, blessed day. 
God loves you. I love you. Uh, most importantly, like, subscribe. And if anything, share this with somebody that you care about. That's more important. Thanks.